There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out a new world order can emerge. A new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. A new world order. New world coming. So America will become increasingly vulnerable to hostile attack on our homeland and our military superiority will not entirely protect us. Americans will likely die on American soil, possibly in large numbers. September 11, terrorism, September 11. Terrorism, terrorists, September 11. Terror, September 11. Threat, tyranny, terrorist, tyranny. People hate us. Terror. Barbaric terrorists, terrorists for terrorism. September 11, September 11. The terrorists, war and danger. September 11, terrorism, terrorists, September 11. Threat of global terrorism, 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 global terrorism, 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 September 11, 2001, global terrorism, terrorists, global terrorism, terrorism, terrorists, September 11, terror, terrorism, the attack on our homeland, back from the attack on our economy and back from the attack on our way of life. Terrorism, terrorists, hate, we must be fierce and relentless and terminate terrorism, terrorists. You defeat them. It yearns to destroy not just the individual, but the entire international order. A new world order. September the 11th. Terrorists. The evil terrorists. Terrorists. The terrorists know. The terrorists know. A massive and sudden horror. Massive death and destruction. Danger. Danger. Death on a massive scale. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. The weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass death. Nuclear weapons. Develop nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. So the money's going to come from Iraqi oil revenue, as everyone has said. They think it's going to be something like $2 billion this year. They think it might be something like 15, 12. Next year, they think it might be something like 18 to 20 plus the next 19. 19 the next year. A massive and sudden horror. Massive death and destruction. Death on a massive scale. Weapons of mass destruction. Biological and chemical weapons. We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south, and north. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. But on the specific issue of weapons of mass destruction, it's going to take time and we're going to have to be Over patient. Over time, the truth will come out. To carry out a phrase his father used, a new world order. A new world order. We have a Florida family who are really pioneers in a brave new world. They have volunteered to be the first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. After 9-11, I was really concerned um, with the security of my family. Top CFR Lieutenant Diane Sawyer for eight minutes sat there in a sickening fashion with this poor family as they discussed how they were all taking microchips because they believed in America and wanted to stop the terrorist. Something has to change, though. They have to find a better way to identify the bad guys or the rest of us are going to stay home and watch the world go by on televisions. But we need some system for permanently identifying safe people. Most of us are never going to blow anything up, and there's got to be something better than one of these photo IDs, a tattoo somewhere, maybe. The Saudis used an American device to scan the eyes of travelers. I wouldn't mind having something planted permanently in my arm that would identify me. If we don't do something, people are going to stop flying. If they stop flying, and I don't go to the Giants games, it means the bastards have won. Yeah, we're not going to let you in, buddy. We saw what you just implied. We're with Al-Qaeda if we don't take the microchip. Do you know how to keep your children safe? A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order can emerge.